Hello friends, welcome to Engineering Panda family. In this video, I will explain pulse shaping techniques with great clarity. In general, there are three categories of pulse shaping techniques. First one is unipolar, second one is polar and third one is bipolar. In this video, I will explain these three categories of pulse shaping techniques with great clarity. So first of all, let me explain first category that is unipolar. From name itself, you can understand this. Uni means one. So here we have only one polarity. So it uses only one polarity of voltage. A positive voltage level represents logic one, while zero voltage represents logic zero. So in unipolar, we will be considering logic one for positive voltage, while with zero voltage, we will be having logic zero. Right. Popular category is unipolar NRZ means unipolar not written to zero. In unipolar NRZ, we will be having logic one for plus V voltage and we will be having logic zero for zero voltage. Now I'll discuss about features of unipolar. First of all, you need to understand how many signal levels are there. See here we have only one signal level. For logic 1 we have plus V voltage and for logic 0 we have 0 voltage. If you talk about DC component then but obviously with unipolar pulse shaping technique we have high DC component. Why the reason is here we will be having average voltage due to logic 1. If you consider we have five zeros and five ones, right? So average will be half of the voltage. Why the reason is with five zero, we have zero voltage and with five ones, we have V voltage. So average will be V by two. So always there will be average voltage means there will be DC component, right? And one should know DC component should be zero ideally. So that is the disadvantage of unipolar. If you talk about next feature, then that is synchronization. See synchronization in unipolar is very poor. Why the reason is if you have consecutive zeros or if you have consecutive ones, then there is no transition of voltage. As there is no transition of voltage, it will be having poor synchronization. If you want proper synchronization, then there should be transition of voltage, right? So long run of ones or zeros cause loss of synchronization. If you talk about bandwidth efficiency, then that is good with unipolar. Why the reason is it needs one pulse per bit, right? And if you talk about implementation, then that is simple and low cost. So that is how unipolar technique is there. Now let me discuss about next technique that is polar. In polar, we will be having two levels, right? So in polar, we will be having two voltage levels, plus V and minus V. See, it is not like plus V is having logic one and minus V is having logic zero. That depends on coding scheme. Here in polar, you need to understand one thing. Here we have only two voltage levels, plus V and minus V, right? Here we will be having lower DC component. One can say we have low to zero DC component. Why the reason is here we have plus V and minus V voltage reference levels. So what obviously average value of signal that will be having zero value or it will be very low value, right? See commonly used types are polar NRZ, polar RZ and Manchester coding. All these techniques that I'll explain along with waveforms in future coming videos. Right now just consider with polar, we have two different voltage levels, plus V and minus V. That's why it is having lower DC component, right? If you talk about features, then here in terms of signal levels, we have two signal levels plus V and minus V, right? If you talk about DC component, 
then that will be low to zero. It will be low in case of you have more number of ones and less number of zeros. But if you have balanced the number of ones and zeros, then DC component may go towards zero, right? If you talk about synchronization, then that is good over here. Why? The reason is here we have transition of voltage, right? So here as per ones and zeros, there will be change in voltage. As there is transition, there will be good synchronization and it will be excellent in case of Manchester coding. In next video, I'll explain you how to have Manchester coding. Right now, just consider synchronization is excellent with Manchester coding, right? If you talk about bandwidth efficiency, then here you need higher bandwidth compared to unipolar. Why? The reason is here we need more pulses per bit. That's why you need higher bandwidth compared to unipolar, right? See, error detection, that is also possible. It depends on type of coding. By identifying transitions, one can have error detection. Now, next scheme, that will be bipolar. See, in bipolar, we will be having three voltage levels, plus V, minus V, and zero. So, bipolar is having three voltage levels, plus V, minus V, and zero. It is also known as pseudo ternary code. Why the reason is here we are having three voltage levels, right? See DC component in bipolar is zero. That even I'll explain why it is zero. One should know with bipolar commonly used type is AMI means alternate mark inversion. Let me explain how coding is there with AMI. See if you have logic zero, then we will be having zero voltage. But if you have logic one, then plus V or minus V that is marked alternatively. For example, if you have first one, then we will be having plus V voltage. But after that, second one will be having negative voltage. Means here we have alternate mark with logic one. And based on this name is AMI alternate mark inversion. With logic zero, we have zero voltage, right? So if you talk about DC component, then that will be but obviously zero. Why the reason is, if you talk about ones, then here alternate voltage will be there. So average will be zero, right? If you talk about features, then in terms of signal levels, we have three, zero plus V and minus V voltage. If you talk about DC component, then that is zero. Why the reason is plus V and minus V that is getting cancelled out, right? If you talk about synchronization, then that is good. The reason is here with everyone, there is a transition. But remember, if you have a sequence of zeros, then it is a bit difficult to have synchronization over here, right? But if you have long runs of ones, then also one can have proper synchronization, right? If you talk about bandwidth efficiency, then that is similar to polar. And when it comes to error detection, then that is easy over here. Why the reason is for two consecutive ones, there cannot be same polarity. So if you identify same polarity of voltage, then directly one can say there is error. The reason is two consecutive ones cannot have same polarity. So if you receive the signal, and if you get plus V voltage and plus V voltage for two consecutive bits, then immediately you can say there is error. So based on waveforms also, one can identify error with bipolar, right? So this is how basic comparison is there. Now based on these three categories, in next video, I'll explain you different types of line coding scheme by waveforms. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Still, if you have any confusion, just place that in comment section. I'll be happy to help you. Thank you so much for watching this video.